So let's take a look at the tail of the tape. Olenicek, the older man by seven years, will have that slight height advantage. The professional records are very similar, and both men will be looking to come back strongly after mutual losses at Bama 30. Welterweight division looking stacked, so both men know that they need a W to convince here tonight. MC Buddy Johnson is ready for the official announcement. Here's Buddy Johnson. Live across the world on Unilad, this is a three arena Dublin. We present Bama 35, three five minute rounds of action in the welterweight division. First, introducing in the blue corner, standing six feet one inches tall, he weighed in officially at 170.3 pounds. He has a professional record of a single win, a single defeat, and a single draw. Representing IFS MMA Club in Belfast, but fights out of Noah Ruga, Poland. He is Daniel Obi Wan Olenichak. <laughs> and his opponent fighting in the red corner, standing 5 feet 11 inches tall and weighed in at 171 pounds even. He has a professional record of two wins and two defeats. Representing SBG Island from Derry Island. Make some noise for Steve Owens. <laughs> when the action begins, your referee in charge is Mr. Rich Mitchell. Let's start, boys. Nine in the game. Let's go. We know what we've got here. So here we go at 170 pounds tonight. Daniel Obi-Wan Olenicek from Poland, fighting out of Northern Ireland, taking on the Republic of Ireland, Steve Owens. Olenicek in the blue, Owens in the red. Both men very skilled, very strong amateur careers, both looking to take the next step after losses at Bama 30. Absolutely. Steve Owens probably be the, 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 the slicker striker, so I'd expect Steve to, Steve to want to keep it on the feet. Daniel Lenishek very, very tricky off his back. I'm expecting him to want to take it to the ground. But again, this fight could go either way. Steve is very confident on, on, on his back, and Daniel can, can, can bang as well. So, you know, it, this, 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 this fight is a pick'em. Owens looking very solid with that boxing. We talked about it during the walkouts. He's got very technical stand-up, and of course, the ability to apply it in MMA and stay off his back. Absolutely. If you see Steve, the way Steve Owens threw that kick, he was automatically protecting his face from the, from the punch. And Daniel did the right thing, tried to work off the kick by, by throwing the punch. But Steve was expecting that. But, uh, yeah, so straight away, a very, very technical fight. Stiff jab there from Daniel. Obi-Wan Olenicek. Steve Owens backing up, but really utilizing the distance very well here to his advantage. Yeah, absolutely. Steve, Steve is a very competent kickboxer as well, so he knows he knows his range and his distance as well. He's bit that bit more experienced than Daniel. Daniel Bo, discernibly the bigger man here. Yeah, Olenicek cutting a ton of weight, but I've never seen him look better on the scales. And that's just a real testament to the hard work he's put in outside of competition. Multiple training camps, getting that cut just right. Now into the clinch where he's probably gonna want this fight. Yeah, Daniel is going to want it in the clinch and try, going to try to take it down and work off his back. And this Daniel's first fight against Jonathan Reed, he scored a very slick submission. So good infighting here from Elena Cech. Overhook on the right-hand side for Steve Owens. Had inside position for Elena Cech, though. He's really dominating here. Oh, nice. looking for that spinning back elbow. Just before then, Steve will cut him with a nice knee, but he needs to be careful. You see how tricky Daniel is in the, is in the, the clinch there. Spoon, he had to, had to cut him. This, that could have been an early night. So for those of you just joining us, you're watching the Bama 35 prelims, live and exclusive worldwide on Unilab. Great to be streaming on Facebook on the road to the main card. For the very first time, Irish fans can watch on Air Sport across the UK for free on Fight. And of course, elsewhere internationally, check your local listings. So many great young, talented fighters in the prelims. An explosive matchup already unfolding between Elena Cech and Owens. Absolutely, both fighters have caught each other. Daniel again with this clean right hand straight down the straight down the, the pipe. Steve O hit it and he came back looking at looking at the score with a, with a leg kick. Stiff jab there, two a two from Elena Cech. Elena Cech trying to punch him into the fence really, Richard, to cut that ring off. Yeah, he's telegraphing his jabs a little bit. Steve was looking to catch him with the hooks on the way in. With some great exchanges in the pocket. And so this fight already quite a bit about the theme of cage control. But Olenicek really unable to get that takedown that he's wanted off the wire so far. Yeah, the, you know, he's, he's, he's not committed to the takedown. He, you know, if he's there, now, now he's using the head pressure, so that's, that's more like it. So he's trying to make it dirty now. And then if he drops to the, it changes the level, that, that might get, get, give him better success with the takedown. 
So, Richard, you're a striker. I mean, you've been in these types of positions. You've obviously trained for these types of fights where you've got maybe a market advantage in the upright against your opponent. You're often in a position where you're expecting a guy to do this to you. What else is Steve Owens doing correctly here that, to your mind, has been effective in preventing Obi-Wan from doing what he wants to do? Steve was, Steve was killing me. He has that tight overhook. You see the wrist control now. He's just going to step out exactly like that. He's just looking to control that wrist. He's got patient, walk along the cage, wait for the opening of the pressure to dissipate. And as soon as he feels that, that opening, he will take it and spin it exactly the way he did it there. And it's a feeling, isn't it? It is. You feel the pressure. You feel the pressure. You touch, you, you touch up. Again, a great timing there of Stephen on the, with, with the right hands. And what really strikes me is the fact that he's not expended a ton of energy in those exits. No. Big knee again, though. Rear knee lands twice on Atlanta check. Check hook there. Steve Owens looking to light him up a bit. Exactly. Daniel always looks tired, but believe me, this guy has an engine that will go for days. So even though he looks tired, he, you know, he's lovely jab there. Lovely jab there, but then it cut him. But Steven looks very, very comfortable here. Daniel will want to get this to the ground fairly quickly. Owens leaping in with that rear knee. Short elbow there. He looks so loose in there right now. He does. He rocked Daniel there as well. The, the, the legs went, the, the legs went on, from Daniel there. Daniel just needs to compose himself, get that left hand up, you know, and, and just be conscious of that distance. Switching up, that oh, shot and caught a big knee comes in. Rich Mitchell noticing the impact on Daniel Obi-Wan Olenicek as Steve Owens is fishing here for that big stoppage that he wanted to get in the three arena. That looked like a liver shot. If anyone who's ever gotten a liver shot before, they will know the intense pain and the legs just dis the legs just go. So Daniel's had to do very well to recover from that. And you question the heart, grit, and determination of Daniel Olenicek, you would be mistaken. That guy has got a chin of iron. He has a chin of iron and there's no... There's... Yeah, Steve Owens caught him with a lovely uppercut there, but Daniel returned with a, with a, with a straight right. So again, Daniel is over committing, on the, over committing on the shots there and has allowed Steve Owens to pick him off. So he just needs to be a bit more composed in the strike exchanges. Boy, was Daniel, I would look to take this down. And here, that near finish moment after getting switch kicked to the liver. If yeah. anybody's ever hit like that, it's just like your body shuts down, Richard. I've never got one before because I'm too good, but I imagine that's what it's like. <laughs> anyone, anyone who's ever taught, anyone who's, who I've spoken to has said the body just shuts down. But uh, Daniel, as I said, has, has an absolute sheer grit and determination, and he just, what, he just pushed through that, and there's no give up in this guy. And you can hear his corner. They were immediately taking into account what had occurred. They've gone in there. They've done the best. What would you be telling Daniel if you were in this fight right now? I'd be telling Daniel to be snappier with the jab. Don't commit to his, don't be over committing on the shots because you're feeding, Steve-O's keeping a one step distance. So when Daniel commits, he has that ability to just read him as he comes in and pick him off. So Daniel should lead off the jab and just take over the takedown. So, two of a scheduled three here. Five more minutes on the clock. Steve Owens showing off some of that real tidy boxing. His punch is really tight, finding their mark, but Olenicek in it to win it without a doubt, looking really tough in the clinch at multiple moments. Absolutely, great head movement. You see how loose Steven is in the shoulders, you know? He's just picking Daniel off as Daniel comes in. He's actually been working extensively with Tommy, uh, Tommy McCormick in, in, his, uh, in his corner. Oh, he's got to get rocked there, though. What to there, there from Olenicek. Olenicek eating another counter shot, though. He's coming in really, really hard. Yeah, Steven looked rough there. He doesn't want to get dragged into a dogfight. He needs to go back to his slick boxing and, and not get involved in the dogfight. Because like I said, Daniel is as tough as they come. And if he pulls into a dogfight, you know, this could go either way. Nice left hook by Steven. So good head movement, loading up that looping shot. Olenicek really committing to the punches right now, stepping in the footwork, following in the hands. Absolutely. Steven, Steven needs to go back to that one step distance, but Daniel is really putting the pressure on him again. A lovely jab. So whatever the corner said to him in, whatever the corner said to him in between rounds is really paying off now. And you can see him starting to get in the ascent. He's starting to loosen up now as well. A good leg kick by Steven, looking to take that base away from him. So Steve Owens and Daniel Olenicek continuing to throw hands. It seems to me Owens wants to keep his back to space away from the wire. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's where Daniel is, in the, is most dangerous in the ascendancy. You know, Steve Owens nice and he's holding the center of the cage, keep making Daniel do all the work on the out, on the outskirts, moving around. So Steve Owens is going to want to keep him there. And again, nice leg kick. He just needs to get more fluid. He had his timing in the first round, but now it seems that Daniel is that little bit more unpredictable. And Owens was looking for that switch kick. That was the most vicious shot in the first round. Nearly catching a finish, but Olenicek certainly showing everything we expected in the toughness department. Yeah, absolutely. Daniel seems to be slowing down a bit now. I don't know if the weight could have taken his toll, but like I said, there's no quitting this guy, so 
Don't expect him to lay down to lay down and make this an art. Oh, with a nice right hand. I spoke too soon. And that was one of the things that Olenicek talked about in his nice time off. Now, here's where it's going to get interesting. So, Chris, here's where it's going to get interesting. Daniel is, is very comfortable here. Um, you know, he will look to, to be composed. He's got 2 minutes 49 on the clock, so he's going to see what he's going to see if he can, uh, you know, take the fight to Stevo. And, you know, for me, this is one of the things I was mentioning there, Richard, is when he said that he took time off, he had a hiatus, he focused on his strength and conditioning as well. So when you do go into a fight like this, maybe you did lose the first, but if you've got that cardio advantage, you can go in and maybe just be confident of being able to bully your way into a takedown like this. Absolutely. He's landed some strong hammer fists on Steve in there, on Steve Owens. Um, I don't know why he was working on the strength and condition because he was strong as an ox and I was in with him. Um, but he obviously thought it was a weakness there, so you know it seems to be paying dividends now. It's after getting him to the, getting Steve on his back now. And that can be part of your game though, Rich, when you're a takedown oriented fighter like Obi Wan, who does have such a methodical jujitsu game for MMA, sometimes that pressure can be the difference against guys. Exactly. You can see he's clever with his ground and pound here, working with the body and then back up to the head. Those body shots will, 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 can gas it, and then he's catching Steve Owens. Steve Owens, Steve Owens needs to be. Needs to, needs to be clever here. He's getting caught with those shots and he's bouncing, he's bouncing his head back. So he doesn't want to get stopped here. Hammer fist coming down. Olenicek looking to try to open up something for the pass here. Keeping his hips squared on. Controlling Steve Owens. Owens with that full guard, Richard. Yeah, absolutely. Owens, I think, has opened up a little bit now. Daniel, as I said, he's, he's alternating, alternating between the head, the knees, and the Steve Owens. Look at a technical stand up. Well done. Daniel capitalized. He saw the, saw the open, what Steve was going to do. And straight away in with the body lock. And that was the right time there. Steve Owens now in a position where he's going to have to defend another takedown attempt. The reshot from yeah, Lenachek like here has, it. has been essential. Yeah, Daniel had to, had to take down here. Steve Owens went, went for the elbows to the head, but presented his hips, and that allowed Daniel to take him down. Owens looking to his corner here. And the cage can be your friend in these types of positions, can it, Rich? Absolutely. Well, Steve Owens has one of the best corners in the game. He has my own coach, Dave Roach, there, so he's in great hands um, there with, with, with Dave Roach. And you can see the dividends that are paying off in terms of the, uh, you know, the, the start of the initial uh, striking exchanges, how, how much is that paying off. But now, as I said, he needs to listen to the corner. Keep that overhook. Don't lose that overhook. Dave Roach, is that SBG Charlestown? That's SBG Taller. That's SBG Taller. SBG Taller. SBG Taller. I'm still working on my Irish locations here. <laughs> And as I said, he has the best in the game there with John Kavanagh. You know, can, John Kavanagh is, 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 is currently the best coach in the world at the moment. So he's really, really strong corner as well as Daniel. So Olenicek looking to try to reap that outside leg, catch a trip. Steve Owens really finding a lot of success in open space in the first. For me, the difference in this round may have been Olenicek closing it off more effectively and keeping it there. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's, a, that, that's Daniel's round, where Steven had a very strong round. He had Daniel's timing in the first. You know, Daniel is really after he's really after finding his groove here, and he's after putting Steve under pressure now. So it's all down to the third round for me. And we talked about during that round the increased commitment from Daniel Olenicek. You can see him really throwing hell for leather with those looping shots, particularly the one-two. Absolutely, but he did not overcommit on that right hand. He kept the, he caught Steve on the edge of the shot with that right hand, and it was an excellent shot. Steve nearly would he was going for the the, the, the flying knee. He might have brought himself into Daniel's range there. So he just wants to be caught. He needs to be conscious of that. But as I said, he has a good corner there that he would, that he that he can listen to now, and hopefully we will we'll see him a, a better version of Steve. But as I said, Daniel has a very strong corner as well. So it's all down to the third round. So some good advice here, no doubt, coming from both camps. Obviously, Olenicek has a very experienced camp up there in Northern Ireland. What do you think he needs to do more of when you look at the last round for Olenicek? Well, in the striking exchange, he did exceptionally well there. He kept, so he needs to maintain the strike, and he's doing not overcommit, and then look for the takedown and ground the pound the same way he did in the second. See him again. Third and final round, Rich See Mitchell again, in charge. Bama 35 here in Dublin, Ireland. Chris Hookstra alongside our guest commentator, Richard Kiley, former world title challenger. Richard, we're really impressed with both the skills of Elena Cech and Owens. Absolutely. Both, both fighters are busted up after, after accruing damage on the face now. So, you know, it's, it's about who wants it more. And Daniel straight in with the double leg. He's after, he knows he's got to get success there on, in the second round. So he's going to look to go back to the well and take Steve-O down. So good head inside position for Olenicek. Does Steve need to just be patient here and try to work off the fence, kind of how he did in the first, more effectively? Exactly. So Steve just needs to keep that overhook, get the side control, and just walk, to, just walk away towards, walk towards where that opening is, um, 
you know, you feel the pressure, you'll feel the alleviation of pressure when Daniel, now, now, now is the time to do it. Good disconnection there. Owen's looking for that knee, but Olenicek backing off. And I think one of the differences is that he's engaging more on his terms on the feet, which has been a smarter decision. Absolutely. And it's also, it's also those, that, that ground and pound when he went to the body, that will have fatigued Steve-O as well. Swing and a miss there from Olenicek. One, two there from Olenicek. Faking that jab. That jab was a throwaway punch. Deep breaths there from Olenicek, but he's still charging onwards. Exactly, Daniel had a great, had great, great uh, connection there with that right hand, so he needs to capitalise on that. Good, clever, good, good, clever uh, tactic from Steve to tie Daniel up now. Clear the head, then he break, should break away and get the timing again and look to work Daniel off those strikes. So Lennon check, doing a good job of protecting himself here. Can he convert to the double leg? Over under here for Steve Owens. This is a grind now, this is a grind. It's about who wants it more. And both fighters, with the better part of 12 months on the shelf, have come in here renewed, reinvigorated, and really put on a back and forth exhausting fight. I mean, the type of energy expenditure in these positions, it's just one of the most unsung aspects of MMA in the clinch. Absolutely, it's deeply unpleasant to be in there, but it's very, it's, it's good crack to watch from out here. The uh, very, very exciting fight to watch. So head inside single, again, going from the single to the double, it's that chaining of wrestling that's been good for Olenicek so far. Exactly. Olenicek sticking to him like glue here. So third and final round, halfway to go, nearing that midway point. Two and a half minutes to the good so far for Olenicek. Yeah, I think uh, this, this is Olenicek's round. Steve needs to pull something out of the bag here. He, doesn't, he needs to stop walking forward and he needs, to, he needs to keep that distance. He's getting involved in the brawl here. This, this is a toss up to see who connects first. It's interesting the way that Lenacek just sort of dips his head and uses the clown to kind of deflect those oncoming punches, but... Yes, he did. Last time he did it to me, I had a fractured tone because of it. Head outside single here, and he'll go right back to the double. Almost every single time, Lenacek goes straight to converting to that double leg. He does. And he can get the takedown again. He does. steve -O needs to stand up here. He needs to, he needs to find something. He needs to pull something out of the bag. He needs to dig down deep. He has loads of heart. This is a grind. Full guard here, Steve Owens. Not much time to go in the fight. And on our official scorecards, I'm gonna have to go out on the limb and say that he won that first round. 10-9? Probably not a 10-8, I'd say 10-9. No, it wasn't a 10-8. If Daniel had gone down, it would've given him a 10-8 because of that, that liver kick, but Daniel kept it together well, so it's 10-9, and then it would've given the second round to Daniel, and this so far is Daniel's round. But a great fight and a great display for both fighters again. Hammer fist there, Elena Chet. Close guard for Owens. Owen's trying to break the posture and pull him in here, Richard, but that will not be enough to win this round. No, there's not much in those hammer fists, but they will still sap the energy. They will not stop the fight, but it's, they, they will sap the energy from you. Vicious body shots there from Olenicek, and it's interesting to see him sort of happy to sit out here in the guard position, not really trying to work the pass. Maybe he just wants the legs to open up first. Yeah, well, that's why he's going for the body. He's looking for Steve-O to try and break away so he can capitalize. As soon as Steve-O breaks away, he's straight away open to, those, uh, open to that, that body look, and he's looking to transition into, into something more dangerous. And that's a fighter who's happy to stay on top. Absolutely, absolutely. Like I said, he's a wily, he's a wily fighter. He knows, he knows the ropes. Are, and look at him going, looking to trap that left hand so he can punch with the right. And a smile there from Steve Owens to his corner, as if to say, yes, a small victory to get back up against the fence. Yeah, well, Steve, Owens, Steve Owens is the heart of a line as well, so he'd be, he, you know, he, he would be taking every inch that he can get, and he'd be looking to put down, he'd be looking to break away, and I think this is going to descend into a brawl if he gets the break here. He'd be looking to knock him out. Well, let it check. Had the high crotch, but he's sort of aborted. I think the main thing for him, the main concern is to stay tight. Steve Owens going to put him on, put it on to him now. Here we go. Oh, 10 seconds to go. Exactly Big like shots there from Steve Owens. Not much time here in the round. Olenicek backing off. Oh, so he's up the rock and a move. Left hook to a right cross, and that is the end. Well, Daniel Olenicek went out there and had things his way for the better part of rounds two and three, but a couple of scares there towards the end of the third from Steve Owens. Absolutely, if Steve Owens had to put that pressure on him in the last 10 seconds that he that he threw out the entire fight, this would have been a much different fight. He did ex excellent there. But what a display by both, both fighters. And Olenicek is exhausted there. I mean, we talked about it in the third. Both guys have obviously really left everything out there in the ring, but it takes a lot of gasoline to put on a pace like that, particularly Ab in the grappling. Absolutely, that, that, that fight was grueling. That was, I'm tired looking at it from outside here, and I'm not even in the cage, so.
the two of them fighters did exceptionally well. I think Daniel, did, I think Daniel might have got it, but uh, you know, you know, a great, a great fight, a great fight. And what a contrast of styles as well. If you're Jude Samuel, the matchmaker for Bama here, for those that don't know, and looking at the what the sort of the different contrast and skill sets both guys bring, it really made for an entertaining scrap because both guys knew what they wanted to do to each other. A tip of the hat to the matchmaker. So that was Jude Samuel. Well done, Jude, because that was a great fight to watch. The first round, I would have I would have said that this is this fight is gonna be Steve O's all day, but you know, as I said, Daniel did very well to come back into it. Um he, stri he worked the striking effectively, and then he got the takedown when it presented itself. So the fighters go to the center. The judges' scorecards coming in. Will it be a win for Olenichek or Owens? Rich Mitchell has him in the middle, and Buddy Johnson has the result. Here's Buddy Johnson. Inside the cage, this bout goes to distance. Three rounds, and we go to your judges' scorecards. And all three judges scored about 29-28, declaring your winner by unanimous decision in the blue corner, Daniel Obi-Wan Olenicek. So it's a win for Obi-Wan.